So sharing photos is a huge problem, obviously. Yeah. And organizing one's photos. Yeah. Uh, what is, how does Carousel help with that? Carousel really aims to be the, the one home for your life's memories, that place where you can pull together everything that you've ever taken, everything that's ever been taken of you that you want to keep, mm -hmm. pull them into one place where you, you have them, you know that they're safe, and you can access them from any device at any time. The part I thought was the coolest was the ability to share, to have other groups of people. Like if you were at a big picnic or a party, you could, everyone can put their photos into one central place as long as they're on Dropbox. Right? I mean, it's core carousel is like a, an infinite photo album. It's like having a physical photo album with an endless amount of pages to fill up. You can have your whole life in there, but it's got this really lightweight chat style uh, conversation piece mm -hmm. built right in. So it's really easy to take a chunk of that and share, but it's also really easy to, if you share with a bunch of people, get photos back from all of them together and just with a tap, save all those to one place and really complete the story. And how does it work? So do I just take, as soon as I take pictures, it automatically happens in the background or yeah. do I have to open the app? And no, do it's happening in the background. Uh, it happens uh, when you open the app as well. And basically, anything that's in your Dropbox already, or anything that you put in your Dropbox through some other source, mm -hmm. or any app, or any device that Carousel is on, will all gather those photos into one place for you automatically. And is it, is it finding photos in other places if I point them to, like Flickr, right. Instagram? Right now it doesn't, but that's a piece we're working on. Okay. Yeah, so that's a big part of the vision, is we really want to be that one home. So I can pull together stuff from other services, other devices, those old hard drives, those old computers, bring yeah. everything together into one place. Okay. And how, and how does it work? Like, what's the secret magic? What's, what's the technical underpinning behind the, it all? The magic is Dropbox. Mm -hmm. The, the funda foundation of Carousel's been around for a while. There's been camera uploads built into that core app for a long time. It's one of the most popular features that we have at Dropbox. The number one thing consumers do with their Dropboxes is keep their own memories their own photos and videos safe and first we had this tab in the in the Dropbox app that really helped surface that and then mm -hmm. over time it's it's evolved to really wanting to be its its own product and that's really what carousel is it's an evolution of that of that foundational technology that's been a part of Dropbox for a long time and is it going to show up on the desktop as well because it's still like IMG world dot 479.jpg. Right now, the, the the best way to see your your memories on your desktop is still the Dropbox folder. But yes, the when we talk about being in a mobile era, we're really talking about being in a in a multi-screen era. And mm -hmm. the services that we rely on, the ones that work best, are the ones that just move with us seamlessly across devices. That's a, a big part of how we're approaching product design here at Dropbox. And a desktop app for Carousel is already in the works. In the works. Okay. You have access to like photo recognition tools, so you can find cool. food, buildings, beach. Vacation. Yeah, we're we're doing we're doing some of that. I think the pieces that are really valuable are things like where the photo was taken, who it was with, when mm -hmm. I took it, what I was doing. Um, I, I, maybe down the road there'll be things like searching for a beach in there, but I think mm -hmm. for the most part we're we're going to focus our energies on uh, really really those fundamentals. What about sharing from the app to places like Facebook and Twitter? And There's already a, a way to share outside of the app to to all oh, the yeah. standard. Uh, uh, share sheet options in Android and iOS. Okay. Mailbox. Mailbox. Mailbox, yeah. So th th you guys bought them about a year ago or so, and it was, you know, supposed to revolutionize email. Um, is that happening? Because uh, email is still, like, probably the biggest pain in the ass. Yeah. Of anything in the world. I think what, what the first version of Mailbox did really well is gave us tools to quickly triage mail on the go. So all of us have that experience of opening our phones, having a few minutes here or there, and really wanting to go through our inbox and see if there's anything new that needs our attention, yeah. make quick decisions on what I need to deal with now, what I need to deal with later, and what I never need to deal with again. And really, the first version of Mailbox provided simple gestures to make that possible and mm -hmm. make it delightful. Uh, what we announced today with AutoSwipe is really the next step in that, that those gestures are not only teaching Mailbox what to do with that individual message, they're teaching Mailbox how I feel about things like that sender, that conversation, mm -hmm. that recipient list. And Mailbox over time can basically through conversation suggest to you, hey, I've, I've noticed every time a message like this comes in, you always send it straight to the trash. Do you want to just do that from now on? Mm -hmm. it's, it's dramatically affecting how, my, uh, how I feel about my inbox. It's a pretty and, neat thing. And how would, you, how would you differentiate it from what Gmail has done with the tabs across the top? They have the social tab and then the, the kind of the marketing spam tab. The, the primary difference is really one of presumption. So there are a lot of services that try and filter your mail for you. And I think the intention is good. The intention is the same goal of paring down the amount of content. Mm -hmm. um, but but if, if it doesn't get it right all the time, I lose trust in it. And I think 
most computer services don't get it right all the time. Right. What I want uh, from my mail is a highly nuanced thing that's very personal to me. And so I think the approach that we're taking with Mailbox is really one more of conversation. It's of a building a relationship over time that gets better and better. And that shift away from a presumptive switch and more towards a conversation and a back and forth where suggestions are made and I can choose to accept them or ignore them, that, that switch enables, I think, a very different kind of service, one that you can uh, both teach and one that you can build trust with.